What's up guys, welcome back to the video. Um, I'm running short of content, so I thought I'll reveal my grades at bits. I'm gonna tell you about every single grade that I've gotten every single subject since the beginning of my journey at bits, right from first year, all right? But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go to that website and I'm gonna show you what my grades are. Do not mock me, do not judge me too much. Uh, you know, I'll just give you a brief overview, right? So when I came to college, I was studious. I used to be a good nerd student and ended up getting an 8.3 CGPA in my first year. So in my very first semester, I got an 8.3. In my second semester, I got an 8.2. All right, now my second year was a bit harder because I'm in electronics and electronics is a bit harder. At least the grading is a bit harder com compared to, you know, other streams like computer science. And that's why in my second year, first semester, my GPA was 6.75 terrible uh, and then in my second year second semester my GPA was I think 7.1 7.2 or something but this semester did not go that well so maybe it's gonna drop further but yeah right now my CGPA is 7.7 .7. Uh, I don't know how that is, but I'm going to show you all my grades. I'll also tell you a bit about the subjects that I have taken and um, maybe you'll get a good glimpse. Let's go. Amazing. So uh, these are all the courses I've taken right from my first year of college to third year first semester. Uh, the first one is biology lab. This was the chillest course ever. I got an A minus grade in that. Uh, we just didn't have to do anything. The professor, I mean, the, uh, you know, guys at the lab did half of the work. So we just had to look in the microscope and say what's happening inside. For example, if the color of the solution is pink, we just have to look through the microscope and tell the professor that it's pink and then you get grades. Uh, pretty pretty lame general biology my favorite for sure I still remember in one of the classes I fainted like I was I was sitting in the lecture and then uh, there were the, there were too many people I got claustrophobic and then I just fainted and then my friends carried me to the washroom just put some water splashed some water on my face and then I uh, got normal it was crazy and then engineering graphics. Engineering graphics is AutoCAD. If you guys don't know what AutoCAD is, it's just a software using which you can draw different uh, 3D objects. Was a good one. You know, uh, before this, uh, like before the final exams, I was I was at a C grade in in engineering graphics, but somehow I managed to get a B grade at the end. Um, I I was really proud of myself in my first year. I I got terrible at studying in my third year. These are all first semester subjects. Thermodynamics, I aced it, got an A grade. Uh, technical report writing, got a B grade. The teacher was, I didn't like the teacher. Uh, practice school one is um, the internship. Everyone gets an A, so it's just too simple. You just have to, you know, follow what the instructor is saying. And unless you do something very dumb, like, uh, you know, talking back to the instructor or, uh, you know, just swearing at them, you would always end up with an A. So don't worry about that. Environmental studies, uh, it just has two grades, good or bad. Um, that's it. So there's no particular grading. Chemistry lab, very easy, um, had a great time. Also, they have some concentrated acids in the chemistry lab. So what that means is you can literally see fumes coming out of them. Like I still remember I saw concentrated HCl in the lab and there were literally fumes coming out of it. So if you dip your finger, I'm pretty sure something bad's gonna happen. Uh, computer programming, I think we coded in C++ as far as I remember. And that was just basic coding. Uh, some of the problems were tough and um, yeah, but if you know how to do problem solving, you should be able to, you know, get a good grade. I got a B. Electrical machines. This was an amazing course. Um, had a lot of, you know, it, it was more about how these machines work and different formulas that you can apply to get efficiency and things like that. But then we had these, uh, had this electrical machine lab. Okay, by by the way, in electrical machines, we were dealing with like really high voltages. I think it was above 2000 volts. So if at all you mess up in electrical machines, you might lose your life. Uh, electron Electromagnetic theory, uh, pretty straightforward 12th grade thing. El electronic device, I got a C, terrible subject. It was more of memorization of formulas. Digital design, terrible, C minus. Microprocessing, C. This is my second year, which was really bad. Control systems, I got a B grade. Signals and systems, got a B minus. This was my worst semester, got a 6.75 C GPA. Communication systems, uh, this I took it this year, hasn't been graded yet. So let's screw that. Principle of economics. Amazing. It was taught by a professor called Rajeshri Sen Gupta. I love that guy. He was so good at teaching it. And um, I learned a lot of economics principles. Though I got a B grade, I learned economics in and out. And I still remember a lot of those terms. And 
it was amazing you can understand how things work how you know elasticity of demand um and you know how do monopolies get created you know you can even predict how companies like google can be formed in the future it's just so amazing economics is one of my favorite subjects i just realized it and if you know how to apply these concepts of economics in real world you can do amazing things new venture creation uh, so this was a course where you had to mom's pressure cooker went off okay this was a um, you know course where we had to work on a startup i took up a startup idea where i was working on chatbots and got to learn a lot of startup ideas right from ideation to funding stages so uh, you know it was a good business class electrical sciences i hate electrical man i though though i'm doing electrical electronics engineering as my degree i just hate these electrical electronics stuff intro dev studies this was a humanities so they taught us about different development philosophies you know marxism and then uh, you know we had different concepts like laissez faire free trade things like that it was more about you know uh, how development happened in the world post world war 2 so it uh, was kind of a cool course effective public speaking um, results aren't out yet i am expecting like a b grade or something eco criticism grade is not out caste and gender in india this was more of an analysis of you know how caste and gender in india works and um like the scientific reasons and the historical reasons behind why some of the discrimination in india have more of the history behind why caste and gender in india works the way it is and how modern ideologies and how modern thinking can change uh the status quo mathematics 1 mathematics 2 got a b grade in both was more of memorization of formulas and applying them at the right place probability and statistics great course if you're someone who wants to get into machine learning you should have your probability and statistics sorted right and that's why i mean i got a b minus grade don't get such a bad grade um you should you should try doing something cool also there are a lot of online courses available for probability and statistics so even if your college does not provide this course you can take one of these online courses it's pretty good mathematics 3 got a c grade <laughs> great a uh, workshop practice um got a b grade workshop was this factory setup where we had to do everything right from shoveling to you know uh making different models using wood uh using um you know taking these steel uh sort of what do you call steel balls and molding them it was pretty weird we had to do carpentry and uh you know things with melting metal a lot of things welding all kinds of welding so yeah was a proper workout session a uh, physics lab i got an a minus great mechanical oscillations and waves got an a minus i loved i love physics um was a really cool subject yeah this was my grade um i'm not sure if you guys realized but i had to work a lot i had to work hard in my first year but since i worked too hard um i had to sacrifice on my extracurriculars but then starting from my second year i started focusing more on the extracurricular part and um i guess it was worth it right um you know just have a right balance between extracurriculars and what you're doing and then you should be good to go in my opinion the correct way of living your college life is to be average or average plus and at the same time get involved in a bunch of extracurriculars and that way you'll be able to do a lot of things you'll ha- you'll be having a broader perspective of life and also you'll avail a lot of opportunities that you would not be availing if you are just into academics so cats plus extracurriculars is the way to go and i'll see you in the next one take care hope you got some insights and if you did then hit the subscribe button bye